what I want to talk about is how we move away from looking at ROI, which is typically a very short run metric, to uh, longer and broader effects of marketing, particularly how we can use uh, longer and broader thinking in, for budget setting. I'm going to talk to you about a framework for budget setting. I'm going to talk, show you how um, we can think about how base erosion in sales happens in the long term and some of the uh, manifold effects of marketing, which aren't typically talked about, but they're still very, very powerful. Bef that's the content. Before I get onto the content, some, let's have a little bit of context. Um, we talked about zero-based budgeting. We've talked about, in the panel discussion, as we're coming out of recession, we're seeing uh, a lot, of, lot more financial scrutiny on the marketing plan. Okay? But there's a reason for this, and it's a very simple reason. Any commercial organization consists of two basic numbers. Cash flow coming in, your revenue, cost, money going out, and in the middle you have the profit. Okay, that's your PL. Quick show of hands. Which do you think in the last 50 years, rev maximizing revenue or minimizing cost has been the main uh, purpose of businesses? Who thinks maximizing revenue? Who thinks minimizing cost? Yeah, you're absolutely right. All right. In the last 50 years, there has been a lot more effort, probably eight to nine times more energy, time, and resource spent on minimizing cost than growing revenue. And there's a very re simple reason for this. And that is because it's much easier to measure. It's much easier to quantify. If you look at a, you know, a company with a 10-stage production uh, cycle, a 10-stage production chain, you can say, OK, I'm going to remove two of those chains, being, make it eight, and then you have a much more effective method of production. And then, so, so that was big in the, in the 70s and 80s, and in the 90s and in the early millennium, there was the whole outsourcing thing, you know, made in China, take, take the, 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 the production base and put it in another part of the world, or put a call center in Mumbai, whatever it is, take costs out of the business and make the business more profitable. But there's a problem with that. And the problem with that approach is there's only so much cost cutting businesses can do. Okay? So every a bit of energy you put into cutting costs is hitting diminishing returns now. So where's the PL growth going to come from? It's going to come from the demand side. It's going to come from revenue growth. So businesses have to take this gamble on the demand side to stimulate growth. Because diminishing returns are being hit on the cost side. And I see this in a lot of my clients back in the UK. They're very lean businesses. There's no room to grow the PL through cost cutting. Historically, cost cutting has been a low risk activity. I know if I cut my costs here, what it's going to do to my PL. <coughs> Whereas I'm going to have a new advertising campaign. What's that going to do to my business? There's no idea. So there's a lot more risk involved with the demand side. A lot more risk. But now businesses have to take that risk. And marketing analytics and putting accountability at the heart of marketing is fundamental and is going to act as a catalyst in this trend. So we, we call this the demand side revolution and we're going to see this demand side revolution and marketing is going to be at the forefront of that demand side revolution. And the more we can talk to finance and the more we common, ha have a common language with finance, <coughs> the better it is going to be for us. Mm -hmm.